everyone. It's a little bit late, so please excuse my, uh, the tiredness <laughs> in my voice. I, uh, I would like to take this time to start off with prayer before we get into reading the new book I got. Heavenly Father, we come before you asking for discernment, for knowledge, and for wisdom of your word. And we ask the Holy Spirit to make their presence known. During this time, Father, I ask that you would be with us all through the times ahead and that you would encourage and strengthen each and every one of us, Father, and that you would reveal to us what each of our tasks are, Father that you would have us do for you. To advance the kingdom of heaven. Father, we pray for all of our friends and all of our family members who have still yet to accept you as their Lord and Savior. Father, we continue to have faith in you that even though we can't see it in the natural, that in the spiritual realm you continue daily working on their hearts, Father. We love you so much, Lord. And we give you glory and honor and praise. And we ask that during the reading of this book, Lord, that you would continue to reveal yourself to us in new ways that we haven't known before. We love you so much, Yeshua. In your holy name we pray. Oh, and we also ask, Father, that you would provide a hedge of protection and I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, on all my brothers and sisters watching this video. Lord, and I pray that you would bring us all together closer to you through the reading of this book. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. So, a little bit of a background. I was praying a couple weeks ago, asking... Yeshua, Jesus Christ, um, which is the Greek translation of his name. Yeshua is his Hebrew name. Um, anyway, I had been praying to him a few weeks ago and was just asking him for encouragement. Um, I was going through uh, some things at the time, and I just, I just was thinking about what it's going to be like to be in heaven, and how I just want to know everything about the Lord, like <laughs> every single little detail, how he, how he is, how he taught, what it was like, you know, during his time here on the earth, during his his first coming. So anyway, last week, completely out of the blue, I, my husband actually had checked the mail and I had received a package from Amazon. So I opened it and this was the book that came out of the package. So I'm sitting there thinking, now, wait a second, I don't remember. I don't remember ordering this. So 
I decided to check my Amazon account and lo and behold, there have not been any purchases on my Amazon account in the past six months. So I 100% fully believe this is the Lord all the way because there are no there are no coincidences so i just thought this was really neat and i felt that this was something that is meant to be shared with all my brothers and sisters so um i think how we're going to do this is i'm um, I'll either do one or two chapters per video to uh, kind of keep it short. So uh, since I'm already at six minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and do the first chapter in this video. And then um, I'll begin the second video with the second and third chapter. All right, so let's get started. This is just the introduction. <clears throat> Joining Mary at the feet of Jesus. Sorry, guys, I'm uh, trying to adjust my mic here. Let your house be a meeting place for the rabbis and cover yourself in the dust of their feet and drink in their words thirstily. Bethany's steep dirt roads are hard on your legs, especially when you've spent a hot day walking uphill the entire way from Jericho. But the smell of Martha's lamb stew wafting from a kitchen pot in the front co courtyard of her house beckons your dusty legs to keep climbing. You try to ignore your aching feet and the sweat-soaked dirt that clumps beneath your toes, thinking instead of the cool drink she will soon offer. The long hike has been worth it because the conversation along the way has been absolutely profound. Didn't you feel your heart burning within you as you listened to the rabbi? A person has to have some kutzpah and sturdy legs, you think, to push to the front so that he can hear the conversation. But this afternoon, you haven't missed a word, even on those narrow paths along the Wadi Kelt, where only two or three could be in good listening range. Usually, Peter, James, and John would angle their way up toward Jesus, but this time you got there first. Finally, you had a chance to ask him some of the questions that had been piling up in your head. But before you have time to make sense of his answers, your thoughts are interrupted by the cackles of chickens that strut across the courtyard and by Martha's joyous laughter greeting you, the sweat beating on her forehead from her last-minute flurry of preparation. She and Mary share a small stone house that seems to miraculously expand to embrace all the guests that enter. Mary is there, too. Greeting each person. Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm having some uh, technical difficulties. I'm going to pause here, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick up in the second video because I'm already at 9.51. All right, so I will be right back. 